Alright, let's look at graphing exponential functions. Alright, uh, here, here's the exponential function f of x equals 2 to the x. So to graph these, what we're going to do is we're going to set up an xy table. And what we're going to do is choose values for x. I'm going to pick, I like to pick about five values. So I'm going to pick 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. And don't worry about why we picked these numbers right now. We're going to work another problem and then we'll see what we did. Alright, so we have f of 0 is 2 to the 0, which equals 1. And then we have f of 1 is 2 to the 1, which equals 2. f of 2 is equal to 2 squared, which equals 5. 4. f of negative 1 is 2 to the negative 1 and then we need to change the exponent to positive so that's going to be 1 half and then we have f of negative 2 which is 2 to the negative 2 which equals 1 over 2 squared which equals 1 fourth and then I plot my points 0 1 1, 2, 2, 4, and then I've got negative 1, 1 half, and negative 2, 1 fourth. And so there's my graph. And this line here is getting closer and closer to the x axis. Okay? Don't draw this to where it crosses the x axis. Okay, because this line will, this graph will never cross the x-axis. All right, now let's look at another one. We've got f of x equals two to the x minus one. So I've got x, f of x, and I need to choose values for x. So I'm going to choose one, two. 3, 0, negative 1. Okay? And like I said, don't worry about why I choose the x values like I do right now. So I need to plug these values in. So I get f of 1 is equal to 2 to the 1 minus 1, which equals 2 to the 0, which equals 1. f of 2 is 2 to the 2 minus 1, which equals 2 to the first power, which equals 2. f of 3 is equal to 2 to the 3 minus 2, which, it, I'm sorry, 2 to the 3 minus 1, which equals 2 squared, and that gives us 4. f of 0 is 2 to the 0 minus 1, which is 2 to the negative 1, which equals 1 half. And then f of negative 1 is 2 to the negative 1 minus 1, which is 2 to the negative 2. And that gives us 1 over 2 squared, which equals 1 fourth. So I'm going to plot my points 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1 half, and negative 1, 1 fourth. And then I draw my graph. And this graph is getting closer and closer to the x axis, but it'll never cross it. Okay. Now let's look and see about the x values I chose. Let's look at this first one. Okay. See the exponents I have? 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. Now, let's look at this one. What ex I chose these x values, but what exponents did I end up with? 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. Now, you don't have to choose x values 
to where you end up with these as, as 0, 1, 2, negative 1, and negative 2 as exponents. I just think that's the easiest thing to do uh, because for one, you're not going to be dealing with large y values when you plug them in. You're not going to get large values over here for y. So whenever you're graphing these exponential functions, try to pick your x value so you get 0, 1, 2, negative 1, and negative 2 as the exponents. And that's all of graphing.